What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I'm standing outside with this uh, kinetic sculpture, and I want to talk to you about it for a second. So, you know, I like going up to northern Michigan, and when I go up to northern Michigan, there's a lot of souvenir and decoration places that sell things like this, like lawn spinners, kinetic uh, uh, sculpture, um, yard ornamentation, whatever they want to call it. And they end up being really, really expensive. One, I think, is a location, a tourist trap, but uh, they're really cool and they, they look great. But um, I wanted to show you that I got this one on Amazon and I'm pretty happy with it. And it is a fraction of the ones that you might see in other places. So I will tell you that, you know, if you're in a vacation spot, a, a tourist destination, you may see something like this listed for a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. I mean, I was looking at a bunch of them and they were very similar to this. Uh, but I got this one on Amazon for under eighty dollars delivered. Now you do have to do a little bit of assembly, but it's not that bad. So as you can see here, we've got a pole and it's probably about five foot tall here to the middle to this uh to the middle T-bar here where basically that's a tube, just an axle. And then we have two spinners, which are, as you can see, are effectively the same thing, but mounted uh, backwards, right? So they're, they're, they're both basically uh, manufactured exactly the same way. One with the cup of this leaf-like wind blade facing this way and the other one facing the other way. But if I just spin it here, you're gonna see these are exactly the same, but that creates a nice contrast when they're spinning in opposite directions. Now, a couple of things. This looks kind of like a bronze finish, but it's basically a faux finish. I think it's a black base uh, undercoat, and then it is this um, kind of bronze copper paint that's kind of distressed and brushed on on top of it. So it gives it, you know, a metal look. The whole thing is metal construction, but this is basically like a little bit of a faux finish, which is. Well, it looks pretty good, it looks pretty good. I will say this thing has been out here now for a while and is still um, spinning smoothly. And as you can see, it's pretty cool and intoxicating. It entrances you as it's spinning. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of wind out here, so I'm gonna have to keep doing this manually. But you can see they're basically kind of almost like on skateboard ball bearings is what I think. And it looks pretty cool. And depending on the way the wind blows, this will also twist. So the top of the pole here will also turn and kind of face the wind. So you get a nice, um, nice, some nice action. And as you can see, this pole here is kind of almost like a tent pole, but it's in three sections. So essentially just taking this out of the box and mounting it to the top of the pole is all you really have to do. And so I'm really impressed with this. And like I said, for oh, 70, 80 bucks, you can get yourself a little bit of this yard style that uh, otherwise could be very, very expensive depending on where you buy it. So I will put a link to it in the description as well as some other yard spinners. Uh, I definitely think you should check it out and buy them online. Save yourself a bunch of dough. Peter Von Panda, out.